Yeah, well. Oh, yep, yum on, big jack. Look at it. Yes, Tommy. Big jack. jack in there, laddie. Look at the size of this. Can you actually, actually, can you get the, um, can you get the net? Oh, dropped it. Come off. Spill on. It's all good, laddie. Next one. Head back. Yeah, we might have to, mate. Oh, were you on then, Tommy? That was a jack. Oh. Did you just get smashed? Oh, keep going, Tommy, keep going. Yes, mate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yep, I'm on. Oh, he's going to snap me off. Oh, snap me. <laughs> Grab the other rod. Lower. You get smashed. It's going to be yeah, big Tom. That's a jack. Keep going, keep going, keep going. That was a jack, Tommy. Chuck him back in, son. Welcome back to my law box, folks. The rain is pouring down, but I am desperate to get this video out to you. It's been too long. I've been very busy with a range of lures that's coming. I've got one here. We're going to fish it today. I'm going to give you a little bit of a sneak peek at that. We're chasing jacks in and around the mangroves. I'm going to get wet. I've got a couple of little spots we can tuck out of the wind. So hopefully uh, that'll work out all right for the mic. I'm going to do the best we can, but it's time there was another video on my lure box. I'm excited to share with you what's coming, guys. Let's get into it. Managed to get out of the wind. The rain's still here. I'm going to get wet, but that's all right. I'm uh, I'm keen to get up into these mangrove areas, see if we can find a little jack. I've tied on my prototype. I've been testing like mad, folks. The last three or four months, especially over summer, I've been testing lures constantly. And uh, part of the reason why you haven't seen a lot of videos from me in the last couple of months is I've just been doing so much lure development and out here testing that. It's sort of taken away from the content building and releasing videos, but my plan is to get it all happening again. Share a heap of tips with you and get you excited to be back out on the water like I am. I don't think I've ever been more excited. We're gonna tuck into these little areas and see if we can pull a jack off a mangrove here. I've got a couple of different options in. Actually, this is one that I wanna to try too. This little phony, I want to try that today. And I'll show you how I like to fish and rig that. That's a little clone prawn by Pro Lure. At the moment, I'm keen to keep sending this little thing in. There's a good jack. Come and have a look at this. <laughs> oh, mate, he's silver like a broom. Straight out off that edge. It's only shallow in there, eh? All right, well, there we go. It's a great way to start things. This is so exciting. The release of my jack burner, a skip casting lure for throwing in and around heavy cover. And uh, these jacks love them and it's a whole lot of fun. I can't wait to take you through the details and all of the design features that have gone into this thing. There, buddy. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, there's a boil down there. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a jack after the cod, would you believe it? There was a jack behind the cod trying to steal it. Oh, goodness me. The burner. <laughs> he's awesome. Oh, he's, he's slapping me. <laughs> he doesn't want to be on YouTube. I'll put him back. Oh, my Played the game for most of the most of the part. Oh, let's do this. Oh. Absolutely love this stuff. Now, let's see if I can show you a little bit of what this is about. I've loved working this skip casting game out for years and years. I've been getting into this stuff and sending lures in, chasing jacks, and it's probably the most effective way of catching numbers of fish when you're fishing mangrove lined creeks and they're in there so it's something that I've been hard at work designing a lure that does everything that I'd hoped it could do and uh, there's they're a lot of fun to fish with really effective so hopefully I can show you a little bit of that this morning not going to give you a real good look at the lure just yet. I'm that excited to bring it out. It's still a couple of months away. There's a jack right there, new beauty. They're gorgeous at this size, that little blue color under their eye, a little bit of eyeliner, and as ferocious as anything. Let's keep going. Right, well, I might just take a moment just to share with you what I like to use when I'm chasing these jacks in and around this cover. Just come around here and I'll give you a look at it. This is my Shimano Corrado and I've used these, it must be for over a decade now. I've just absolutely loved fishing with these, chasing jacks in and around all this cover. So a little Corrado, the reason I love these reels, they're low profile, they fit in your hand and they're light. So you've got a lot of control. So you can cast all day, hundreds and hundreds of casts. That's what it takes to pull these jacks out of the snags. And it also takes really good drag. So these have got lots of drag and it's super smooth coming off the spool. Okay, so that's the reason why I've fished with these for such a long period of time. They're a beautiful reel to use. And I've got it on a Shimano Raider. This is like a little Bass Raider, a 510, three to six kilo Bass Raider. And that's what I like to throw these little lures, tuck them in around these mangroves. Now it's a bass rod, so it's a little bit light in the tip. That allows you to help fling lures and skip them in under the snags. So even though it's a little bit light, you've got to be a bit gentle with it. These things are just fantastic. Okay, and they're nice and light, short, but everything's really light, so you've got heaps of control to get all the little angles and movements that you need to get in and around snags and out of cover. Uh, it's, it's got 20 pound Power Pro on there, and that is a really tough braid. Um, it's really hardy, and you need that in and around all the sticks and stuff. It's not the really thin, super thin braid that is around on the market now. This has been a line that I've used for years and years and years, and I love it because it's hardy and a little bit thicker braid, I just find it easier to skip casting. That's just me. I've got a 20 pound leader of about, oh, it must be, it's over a meter. It's about a meter and a half of leader that goes all the way down to my little lure. So that's how I like to do this skip casting stuff. It's a lot of fun. And I can tell you, 
because I've got this lure coming this year, you're gonna learn a whole heap more on how to do this, where to do it, what the timing is that you need to get right, and some of the technical sides of skip casting. So all of that is coming, along with the lure that's coming later this year. All right, we might swap over now. I've been given that a fair, a fair crack. We might swap over now and I'll, um, I wanna show you what this thing's all about. Now this has been a great little lure for me, these clone prawns for chasing jacks end sort of estuary cod and trevally and even flathead, they're a fantastic little lure. So we're gonna throw that around for a little bit and um, I'll show you how I like to rig it. Oh, yep, got it. Oh, it's a good one. <laughs> Let's ride around those mango fruits too. Come out. Come out, get out of there, look at that. I can see his tail in there. Quick, quick, I'm losing the boat. <laughs> He's in there. Oh, come out, buddy. There it is, here it comes, you beauty. What a cracker. Have a look at this. Now, I've braved the conditions today. It's pouring rain. Look at that, Jack, eh? How good's that in this tight stuff on this clone prawn? So much fun. So much fun. The best part about it is the midges are usually off their head here. Oh. There you go, John. Go on, snap another rod, mate. Just... There we go. Now, have a look at those teeth in there, guys. How cool is that? There you go, buddy. Back in there. The midges aren't as bad. This is crazy country, as you can imagine. I feel a bit crazy out here in it, in this pouring rain, but when there's a bite to be had, I'm there. <laughs> Keep going. What a, what a great little spot. Look at this. It's the tightest country. Let's keep going. I couldn't see anything, but I knew there was one going to be there, eh? <laughs> oh, man. It's all eaten up, too. This poor, it's my last one. This clone prawn, it's my last one, and there we go. Let's see if he wants to take it again, buddy. Yep, again. Oh, he wanted it twice. I love it. Oh, what is it? I don't think... Oh, wow. Look at the colour on that. Look at that cod. Oh, oh, my clone prawn's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Please be down its throat. No, it's not. Ah! <laughs> I'll get the grip. Oh, look at the mouth on them. And the tail. Look at the. Oh, beautiful stuff. Have a look at the. Have a look at the head on it. <laughs> bit like mine, drown wrapped in the rain. Oh, well he's got that stuck right in there. There we go. All right. Off you go, buddy. So cool. Well, that's going to have to be the end of it, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you want more jack action, check out this video here. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.